Okay. okay, so hello everybody. We are at the Open Social uh, Summit at uh, Google Campus, and uh, today we have uh, Guillaume and Yann. So Guillaume and Yann, uh, I heard you talk French, and so I was thinking uh, when you were presenting your products, I've been thinking, hey, can you tell us a little bit more about who you are and what you guys are doing? Sure, absolutely. So uh, my name is uh, Guillaume. I'm uh, the VP uh, of Engineering for the US for you know. And uh, this is uh, Jan, uh, one of our senior, very senior developers. Uh, you know, a very brilliant mind, and we're really happy to, uh, to have him. And um, so, you know, is um, it's a it's a new uh, it's a new product we're in private beta right now. We're a sidebar extension for your browser. Uh, it works on Firefox, on Internet Explorer. Very soon, we hope it's going to work on Safari as well. And um, what uh, you know is it's uh, it's basically. Uh, empowers the user uh, to make the most of its social life on the web. Um, so basically all the social networks you like to go to, uh, you can now uh, access them from the comfort of uh, your sidebar within you. You get all your friends updates from all your social networks, you can update your own status, uh, you can talk to them, um, you can post pictures, you can send funny videos to your friends, and everything uh, that you do on the web you know, everything you like, everything you want to uh, discover on the web, you can do it with, you know, uh, you can bookmark it, uh, you can um, create uh, notes of uh, what uh, you like and share everything with your friend on all your, your social networks. So what that means is that you're doing an aggregation of the various friends graphs that I have on the various social networks? Exactly. So uh, social aggregation is clearly a big part of what we do, but it's much more than this. So not only can you get uh, all, uh, all of your friends' uh, activities from all your social networks, but you can also uh, create your own and share what you like to do uh, with, you, with your friends. And uh, you can also use Uno you know, to um, get recommendation and discover more of what you like on the web. Excellent. In terms of uh, technical terms, how, how does it work? Um, it's, uh, it's an add-on to Firefox and also an add-on, but there is no actual add-on mechanism for IE, so we need to uh, use other technologies. Uh, so we have a common uh, base, we built one for IE, one for Firefox, and probably one for Safari. And on top of that, we have a standard framework that integrates all the plugins, all the functionalities. Uh, that framework is written in uh, XHTML and JavaScript. And we have a server-side uh, server tool that interacts with those clients to provide the content, the recommendations, to provide storage for the several types of data. Uh, and the actual social network part is uh, managed by, by each social network using their own API. Okay, so regarding open social, what do you use in there? Do you use it already? Not yet, because we were missing the REST API but now that we have the REST API, we'll be working with it very quickly. I mean, it's first the way to integrate all the social networks that implement it at once without having to do something special for each network and debug it and all that stuff. So it's really quicker, a way to uh, standardize data, with standardized access, and to let everybody say, here, here is my small social network, it implements open social, yeah. and I can play it uh, in two seconds in the sidebar and not have to ask you guys to do something for Excellent. Um, the, more, the more social network uh, support open social, the more social, social network we can uh, put in, uh, inside of Juno, you know, and the richer the experience for the user and the speed, uh, which is the whole point of it. Yeah, that's the point of open social. Uh, in terms of uh, open social, are you going to become a container as well? Like, can I drop an application in the sidebar? So this is uh, definitely uh, uh, a plan. Uh, it's probably more, I would say, middle term for us. It all depends, I guess, on the resources, the human resources that we have, uh, you know. But definitely, um, we want to uh, give the uh, ability to other people to put their widgets inside of you know, so that again it gives more choices to the user to do uh, to have what he likes or she likes inside of the you know sidebar. And uh, also, we want to be able to expose um, uh, all this uh, knowledge, all these uh, preferences that uh, a user creates inside of you know. We want other people to be able to access it to do other things with it, which is also 
We have very unique content compared to other social networks. We have a feature that we call WebNotes that lets you, uh, let's say, grab anything on the web and store it and share it. Yeah. And this is something that we need to be uh, uh, an open ID provider to uh, bring out and give to our users. So definitely we will be a provider. Excellent. Um, wh where are you based? You're based in Paris? Uh, half in France, half here in the US. <laughs> and a little bit of offshore applications in Vietnam, Romania. It's pretty multinational. Very cool. Yeah, one last, <laughs> one yeah. last thing you wanted to add, guys? Uh, we're very happy and very excited uh, that Open Social is uh, uh, moving very fast, which is uh, good news for everybody, for all the users, uh, all people uh, excited about uh, social networks. And we're very happy to be part of this, uh, this movement. Uh, and I hope this will let us move a lot faster than having to build all those APIs. Excellent. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Bye.